Hello everyone! Today I'm bringing you another new map, it's called Haunted Estate. It's actually made for probably an infection map, which we don't have, but hopefully I'm hoping that we get that map, um, game to, yeah, game mode to come out soon. If not, I guess you can kind of do a makeshift, uh, infection map, but till then, uh, yeah, I guess you have to do makeshift. So this map, uh, it's a big house, you'll see, went for the haunted look. And it has lots of hidden passages and stuff. I don't want to spoil it and show you all of the haunted passages. So I'll actually just show you maybe two. I'll show you two of my favorite ones. I think off the top of my head, I want to say there's about ten. I'm just doing a quick run around on the outside so you can see what it looks like on the outside. There's about ten, I think. I'll show you two really quick. So actually, I'll show you this one because it's a pretty major one. This is like a little shack we've got here on the side. It's got some uh, stuff. Uh, if you go behind it, to like the generator sort of thing, there's a thing. If you interact with it, listen, you'll hear an explosion go off. If you go back in here, you'll see that this hatch is opened. We can jump down here, and it kind of takes us underneath the house. This uh, is supposed to be where the explosion took place. So you see like the girders and stuff, and you'll see this is kind of destroyed. If you can crouch walk through here, and now we're inside the house. This is actually closed off, just this area right here. There's no entrance before you hit B, or, or interact with that. Um, so this actually takes us to the basement. So this is the basement. Uh, not much to it. It's It's got some stuff. I'm going to run around in circles here. we got lights shining down and stuff. Um... I did intentionally leave this map fairly dark, so you'll see that it is kind of dark. This is for infection, trying to make it spooky. So we're gonna come upstairs to the main floor. Actually, you know what? I've redecided. I'd rather show you the map from the like front door. So I kind of just cut that out, and I'll show you where we were when we left off. But this is the front door. There's a nice little balcony here, and right away you'll see a staircase. And we got a chandelier above us, and I'll just show you the main floor quickly first. So off to the right we have the family room or the den. We got a TV, a couch, a destroyed coffee table. The legs have kind of fallen out on that side. Move on to the kitchen. There's not much to the kitchen. We have a table, counter, garbage, fridge with generator noises. And then we have the dining room. Tables, chairs, knocked over chairs. The theme of this map is supposed to kind of be like a haunted, deserted house which I hope I'm giving off the vibe of. I'll move over here, and this is the library slash large living room. Um, we have a fireplace going, and then we kind of have some supports and stuff hanging above. And a bookcase, and a window. That's enough of that. This is a, also has a back door that just kind of leads outside. The outside doesn't have much to it. The tree stumps actually um, signify the kill zone, the soft kill zone. So that's that. Also, I didn't mention this before. This is the graveyard, and this is the kind of supposed to be destroyed part of the fence. So yeah, we'll go back inside now. Actually, we'll go to the second floor, but I'll take you up the fire escape, outdoor fire escape. That's what this is supposed to be. So go up here. And this is the destroyed part of the fire escape, where the rails have kind of flown off. So this is the billiard room, pool table room, whatever you want to call it. And this is the main staircase, that's the that's the door there. Uh, we will. I'll be back here in just a minute, I just want to show you the entrance to the balcony, as well as the computer room, where it looks like they have the blue screen of death. And then we have just an overlook of the nothingness actually barren wasteland so go back to the billiard room here this is another one of my favorite uh um secret pass so if you actually go over here it's supposed to be a pool pool ball interact with it and it's gonna move it's supposed to be like you're rolling it and you'll see when it goes over there into the pocket that door there uh sorry wall just slid open so we can go in here and it's just a little bit of a tunnel here take us around and it takes you actually to the library right above the fireplace so just kind of it's primarily for zombies um, 
Like, you have different escape routes. So that's just two of the many routes that I, I want to keep a surprise for you when you want to watch it. So I'll take you to the last part of the map, which is just upstairs. There's four layer le levels, actually five, including the basement. So this is layer two, and then we have a staircase over here. Um, there's the attic, which unfortunately, it's really hard to see. Fortunately, I did have this as a as a script, but the scripts weren't working as well as... I'll show you this room as well. This is just a bedroom with a flashing spooky TV, and for some reason the lighting effect... The, game and this game is glitchy and the lighting effect just I couldn't get to work it was supposed to be flickering I don't know why it won't work so as well as that attic entrance this window is supposed to be interactive script as well but due to bugs I couldn't I couldn't keep them both running so I just kind of opted to keep them both open a crack as well as you can jump you can actually jump up this from the balcony so there you go so it'll take you to the attic, which is intentionally very dark. You know, have a spooky whale. And it's just a lot of cluttered stuff. There may or may not be more to this attic. I will not confirm or deny that. Go across here. Just a uh, an empty room with a desk. And then we'll take you this way, and this is where the tower is. The you'll not no, have noticed the tower. So there's a nice red light shining on from above you all the way up this spiral staircase and it's got a view but it's uh, not much <laughs> you can jump all the way down the middle here there you go it's also left intentionally dark for hiding spots and whatnot you can you can hide in very a lot of places around this map you just have to kind of search around I don't want to reveal everything so the, this is the last uh, the last floor of the map and it is a child's room that is lit brightly it's supposed to be spooky but that's really that is all I'm gonna show you of the map I'll leave it up to you if you want to download the map you can add my gamer tag it's scooty I'll put it in the description if you want to see more of it if you want to discover all 10 or whatever uh, secret paths I've hidden throughout this map and the vents and whatnot then give it a download and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.